to Gusto News on Gusto TV. My name is Ifeo Lua and today on the news, I'll be doing news around Maven, you know, female, and uh, Maven Queen, yeah, Aria Star. I'll also be doing news around Omale. And as well, I have Idris Abukarim and the, you know, Festus Kiamo issue. But before I move on, I'd like to say a big thank you to you guys, to all you do for us. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for comments. Thank you for telling people about what we do here at the Gusto. And of course, if you're new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you get to see our content once they drop. Talking about Iris Star, of course, you know, Iris Star is under the Maven record. Maven record is that record that is known to house a lot of young artists who comes to become, you know, very, of course, we know what Rema is doing at the moment. Rema has been doing well with his song bounces, with videos, with, you know, starting his career with an EP and all of that. So what it is today, he won the next rated award. Also one award that he just concluded at this. So, you know, when it comes to artists, young artists, of course, Maven Record is the house for that. They also have Ruga in there. And this time around, this news is actually focusing on Arista. Arista is a young lady which is under the Maven Records and she has been doing well for herself. She has a song, Away. Away was able to, you know, attract so many streams online, was stopping chats at some point on um, Audio Mac and Apple in Nigeria as at the time of its release. So many people were using it for TikTok, was also topping on TikTok and Thriller for the old challenge and all of that. You know, despite the fact that she's just a first time in the industry, first official single actually did well for itself. With Don Jazzy as well, always there promoting her on his Instagram, everywhere possible, you know, pushing the um, away challenge like he does for other artists as well. You can see him posting pictures of Bouncy Challenge and any song that comes out of any member of the Maven dynasty. So this time she has actually come up to tell us that she has a surprise for us. Of course, we know that, you know, starting her career, she has to be consistent and putting out works every now and then is something that we're expecting from a newer or an upcoming artist. So Arista on this particular one has come up on her Twitter and says she has a surprise for us. This could actually be another single or maybe an EP or an album. But of course, we know with Maven record, whatever Arista is actually cooking or working on is actually going to be a bang. She said there's a surprise. That means there's something she's working on. It's something that she's trying to release. Could be a song, an album, an EP. But whatever it is, with Maven Records, Arista is ready to drop something after a way that, of course, was a success being the first song of our career. Well, we wish our best on this particular one. And of course, we hope that when it comes out, it will be something worth the while and definitely will be as successful as um, a way was when she released it. Moving on to the second on my list will be Omale. Omale, which is now Stanley Omar Dear Dear. <laughs> is actually a Nigerian artist from Portacot. Omale has been able to grow himself over the years and has become an artist that everybody is now looking out for. When he started his career, you might not hear a lot about him, but at the moment, when you talk about artists doing well for themselves in Nigeria, of course, Omale will be one of those names on your list. He won the next rated award at this present edit that just ended in the year 2021. Of course, he was able to win the next rated award. So it's no surprise if he has actually set the record of becoming the most streamed Nigeria on audio mark with 36.1 million stream for the year 2020. Audio mark actually said that Omale's song is the most streamed song for the year 2020 on Audio Mark Nigeria. What a milestone for an artist that just came in with his career with such a success. Of course, it's congratulations to Omale as he becomes the most streamed Nigerian artist on Audio Mark Nigeria. Of course, you know that it does not just remain on Audio Mark. It was also one of those songs that was stopping TikTok and Chilla at some point. Also, Chilla nominated his song to be one of the most streamed um, songs used for TikTok Chilla challenge and all of that also we had the song with Gyaki remix forever remix was also topping the thriller chat for songs years for challenge of course you know that if an artist is doing so much for himself people are going to keep listening to their song and using it for other things on social media so this is a big congratulations for omale becoming the most streamed nigerian song on audio mark amidst the big names and the big boys was able to achieve that a total of 36.1 million streams on audio mark nigeria and also topping thriller you know with his forever remix with Giaki. congratulations to him we've been seeing him with a lot of work but presently we also saw a video of himself and bella's murder 
in a studio so it could be actually they are cooking up something but last mother was also nominated as the next rated although omale took that particular category but of course you know two people who are actually you know at, on the same level who are doing well for themselves who have been nominated for awards and also receive other awards coming together so that song is actually going to be a bank right so waiting for that omale i still in the studio with the uh, last murder and congratulations for him for such a milestone well moving to the last on my news is actually one of nigerian legend over the years we've known him to be one person that sings songs that actually represents the situation of nigeria at a point in time his song jaga jaga was actually a big song that went you know everywhere and everybody was actually singing it as it was a graphical representation of what nigeria was going through as at the time although he actually got reactions from those in the presidency political leaders actually came at him that why will he sing such a song or a song that is going to reflect nigeria as a bad country but yeah that particular song was a hit everybody was singing to it everybody was jamming to it and of course he was nominated at this just concluded edis was actually awarded a lifetime award and he also said in his speech during that what he said that he wants to thank the presidency as at the time who made that song popular by actually responding to him saying he's the one that is actually jaga jaga boy yeah he actually did that song and he got a lot of reaction he was he was given an award for you know as a legend in the music industry well he has actually gone out to actually release another song which is jaga jaga reloaded of course that song is actually a continuation of the jaga jaga he sang in the past it's also to reflect the you know the suffering and actually how nigeria is at the moment he mentioned the name of one of nigerian politicians he's actually you know in part the moment he talked about festus kiamo he said that he actually has joined them and can no longer speak about him well this man actually came out to re react to this particular line in his song he had first said that well he listened to the song he vibed at it and he actually danced to it but he said there's actually a background story to this that a lot of us do not know so when we are actually listening to the song and that particular line when he mentioned his name there is actually a story to that which Festa Koamo went on to actually tell with a lot of references from their conversations according to him during the 2019 election he alerted that um, the singer actually reached out to him as one of those in charge of the campaign for the presidential election saying that he actually has a song he would like them to use for the election he said he actually got across to him when he was able to meet him he listened to the song but made him to understand that at the moment he does not have a budget for that particular song and he would not be able to take it that as the work he's doing as at the time is actually voluntarily he said well um he went on to actually say okay if he actually cannot take that song he could go ahead to help him with his hotel bill which is about 1.3 million his mom is sick that is about said, the money and all he demanded for us at the time was going to about 3.5 million demanding from them for help for his hotel bill for his mother's health and all of that so he said he turned that down and um the singer actually went on to join the opposition party and was hearing his voice against those in power as at the time so he said after this they didn't hear anything from this artist he went on to join the opposition was saying things about them but behind the back he had actually wanted to join them and if they've allowed him be a part of them would he be saying what he's saying would he be talking about you know them actually sitting with the cabal and not being able to speak up for things that are going on well a lot of things has actually said he also went to three shades as other he said those who are activists in the morning and hustlers in the night and all of that nigerians has begun to react to this thing saying that a lot of times our politicians actually that's why they just treat us the way they are because our artists after singing after saying this and that still go behind our back so you know maybe take money from them and all lot of that on this particular one festa skiamo has actually called idris abukarim out for the song jaga jaga reloaded where he specifically stated his name that he is not speaking up against the heels of the society has called out this artist that is also at fault and if he had the opportunity to join them in 2019 would he be saying what he's saying well this is where i'll say goodbye on this particular news if you're new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you can get to see our content once they drop bye